In this video, I'm showing you my DIY garage door monitor and control system. The main components include two modified Sonoff basic Wi-Fi switches and a microcontroller. One Wi-Fi switch is used for control and allows you to open and close the garage door. The other Wi-Fi switch is used for monitoring the garage door and tells you if the garage door is open or closed. In my last video, I showed you how to modify the Sonoff basic R2 or version 1. This project requires both Wi-Fi switches to be modified just like in my last video. The mod is super simple. You'll find a link in the description below for that video. The microcontroller runs a simple program that works with the monitoring Wi-Fi switch. This is the Sonoff Basic Wi-Fi switch. It comes in a small cardboard box. This is the plastic case it comes with. I have two of the switches here, the one on the left here. This one is a version 1, and this is a version R2. After my modification, you can use either one of these. Besides the two modified Wi-Fi switches and the microcontroller, you will also need a magnetic switch, a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, a 5 volt relay board, low enabled, two 10K resistors, and a project box. I'll put links in the description below for some of the parts. Now, if you were to buy a system like this, it could cost you $40, $50 and up, and I've seen some for over $100. My DIY system cost about $25. You can make it even cheaper if you already have some parts. So here's a list of features of my garage door monitoring and control system. Using your smartphone and the eWe Link app, you can find out if your garage door is currently open or closed without actually being there. You can open or close the garage door remotely from anywhere using your smartphone. You will get notifications on your smartphone every time the garage door opens or closes. If the garage door is open, you will get a notification every 30 minutes as a reminder that the garage door is still open. For the system to work correctly, here's what you need to do in the eWe Link app. In order to get notifications with the Sonoff Wi-Fi switch that is used for monitoring, you need to enable notifications in the eWe Link app for this particular switch. The app also needs to be running if you want notifications. If the app is not running, all the notifications will come in after starting the app. The Wi-Fi switch used for control does not need notifications enabled. For the Sonoff Wi-Fi switch used for controlling the garage door opener, opening and closing, you will need to enable the inching feature for this particular Wi-Fi switch in the eWe Link app. This feature will momentarily switch the relay on and then off, which is perfect for controlling the garage door opener. Here's the circuit all connected and powered up. This Wi-Fi switch on the left here is named Garage Door in the eWe Link app and gives you control of the garage door opener. The Wi-Fi switch here on the right is named Garage Monitor in the eWe Link app and works with the microcontroller board and the relay board. And this tells you if the garage door is open or closed. Everything will be eventually powered by this 5 volt DC power adapter. Notice I'm not using 120 volt AC for powering the Sonoff basic Wi-Fi switches. Okay, here's how it works. I'm gonna start up the eWe Link app on my smartphone. Here are the two Wi-Fi switches, garage monitor and garage door. This is the garage monitor and this is the garage door. This is the magnetic switch. So this part of the magnetic switch is at a fixed position. And this part here is attached to the garage door. The microcontroller here constantly monitors the magnetic switch. When the garage door opens, this will move. Turning the garage monitor on. On means the garage is open. It sends me a notification. If it was off, the garage door would be closed. The garage door switch has the inching feature enabled, 
So if I were to press the button, it will momentarily latch the relay on the Wi-Fi switch, opening or closing the garage door. Now what if I were to accidentally press this button changing the monitor? I put an autocorrect feature in my code which will autocorrect and make sure that this tells you exactly what the status is of this magnetic switch. So you will always know for sure if the garage door is open or closed. So if I were to close the door, the garage monitor should turn off in just a few seconds. And autocorrect works as well in the off position. And it'll also send me a notification. So if the garage door opens, the code, the code in my program will send me a notification every 30 minutes reminding me that the garage door is open. So you might have noticed on my microcontroller board there's this component here. This is a 5 volt regulator and I'm not actually using it. I'm actually using a 5 volt DC power adapter to power everything. Okay, everything is in the project box. You have the power switch. Also put two little holes on top of the box and that gives you a view of the LEDs on the Wi-Fi switches and that tells me two things. One, the power is on and two, the status of the Wi-Fi switches. If the LEDs are solid, that means you have a Wi-Fi internet connection. If the LEDs are blinking, that means you need to set up the connection or you do have a problem. This is the 5 volt 1 amp adapter I'll be using to power everything. Now this wire coming out here going to the magnetic switch. I won't be using that wire. I'll be using something like this leading from the project box to the magnetic switch and I'll probably be using about 15 to 20 feet of it. Okay, I'm going to power on the box. Notice the LEDs on the Wi-Fi switches are blinking when it establishes a connection with your Wi-Fi network it will turn solid. Here's a closer look. Now another thing I need to do is connect two wires to the control Wi-Fi switch and that'll come out the small hole here that I also put on the side of the box and that'll go to the garage door opener. Okay, I also changed the names of the Wi-Fi switches on the eWeLink app. The monitoring Wi-Fi switch is changed to just monitor and the garage door control Wi-Fi switch is just changed to garage. And as you know the Sonoff basic Wi-Fi switches they're compatible with the Google Home and also Alexa. I connected my Wi-Fi switch for control to the Google Home. Hey Google, garage on. All right, turning the garage on. Okay, my garage uh, door monitor and control system is installed to my LiftMaster garage door opener. I'm using this eight conductor flat cable to connect the magnetic switch to the circuit. And since it has eight conductors, I'm connecting four of them together to make one conductor and the other four for the other conductor. 
Okay, this is where I mounted the magnetic switch. I went to Home Depot. I got a couple of sheets of sheet metal. I made two brackets. This bracket here on the left is actually fixed to the side railing of the garage door. And this bracket here is fixed to the door itself that moves up and down. So how did I attach the sheet metal brackets that I made to the garage door and the railing. I used a high strength 3M double face foam tape as well as JB Weld and that should hold these brackets down pretty well. Okay I have the EWE Link app running. You can see the magnetic switch here on the right. You can open and close the garage door here and this here is the monitor and that tells you if the garage door is open or closed. Right now it's off, that means that the garage door is closed as you can tell by looking here. And even if I accidentally turn this on, the microcontroller has programming that will auto correct it depending on the status of the magnetic switch. And it also gives you a notification so I'm going to go ahead and open the garage door using the EWE Link app and keep an eye on the magnetic switch on the right. and you can see the monitor turned off and I got a notification. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this interesting. As a reminder, the Sonoff Basic Wi-Fi switches that I used are both modified. I'll put a link in the description below for that video. It's super simple. Thanks again and have a great day.